microbiology for nurses before moving on to the session i just want to give some hints for the students those who are watching this video books and slides are not the substitute for active engagement ask for help take brief notes as you go through the video so don't just watch the video try to take notes during the video create an outline with headings and subheadings rewrite the information in your own words you can add up points by reference writing makes your concepts more concrete so you don't study you have to write and read so this session includes historical historical perspectives concepts and terminologies used in microbiology principles of microbiology and the importance of it in nursing so what is microorganisms microorganisms are otherwise called as microbes which are minute living things that can be viewed through the naked eye so we need cannot be viewed through the naked eye we need microscope to view the microbes or microorganisms what is microbiology it is the study of organisms that are too small to be seen with naked eye that is nothing but study of microorganisms so microbiology is defined as the study of microorganisms or you can say it as organisms that are too small to be seen with the naked eye what are all the organisms included in microbiology or the principles of microbiology so there are a lot of organisms which are included in microbiology and the study related to it is like bacteria the study of bacteria is called as bacteriology virus study of virus is called virology fungi study of fungus or algae we say it as mycology protozoa protozoology it is a study of protozoa parasites parasitology so the organisms included in microbiology are bacteria virus fungi protozoa parasites and there are newer type of organisms which are very small particles which is called prions which is proteinaceous infectious particle especially it is found in alzheimer's disease where are protein deposits very very minute which will take a longer time to cause a disease so this is also included in microbiology nowadays so these are all the different types of organism we'll be discussing later in the microbiology so history of microbiology the history for the max or physics begins in ancient time whereas the biology and microbiology was arrived like in late 19th century it was not uh, like the diseases or caused by evil spirits that is what the ancient time the people were believing and later on they started finding there are organisms which are very small which causes the disease varro columella is the first century bc postulated that diseases are caused by invisible beings that is animalia minuta and fracastorius of verona in 1546 proposed that contagium vivum is a possible cause of infectious or contagious diseases von plenzis in 1762 suggested that each disease are caused by separate agent so before that they were thinking there is only one thing which causes all the diseases there are lot of people who made tremendous change in microbiology we will have a look on each one in the coming slides robert hook he lived through 1635 to 1703 he is an english scientist but he is the first person to visualize a microorganism with a microscope and he explained the description of plant cells antony van leeuwenhoek he lived through 1632 to 1723 he is the first person to use the microscopes homemade microscopes and he is called as the father of microbiology and the first microbiologist as he is the first person to see a single cell microorganism called animalcules which is called nowadays as microorganisms which has a single cell microorganisms so he is the first person to see the microorganism through his homemade microscope and that's why he called as father of microbiology and he is the first microbiologist robert koch 
he is called father of bacteriology because he found lot of bacteria especially anthrax tubercle bacilli and cholera bacilli he investigated the anthrax disease cycle and he is the first person to introduce solid media for culture development what we are we is, when still we are using it like newton tagger newton broth methods of isolation of bacteria he found there are different types of isolation methods and staining techniques which made him father of bacteriology he got the principle of hot air oven and steam sterilizer which was killing those microorganisms and he stated coach postulates the next person is louis pasteur in 1822 to 1895 he is called as father of modern medicine as he contributed germ theory which you all are aware that diseases are caused by germs he brought out the principle of autoclave process of pasteurization which made him very popular that's the name they have given for the pasteurization demonstrated he demonstrated principles of immunization and he developed rabies vaccine and anthrax vaccine he built pasteur institute for studying microbiology lord joseph lister he lived through 1827 to 1912 he is the first person to introduce antiseptic techniques especially in the field of surgery so he was called as father of antiseptic surgery he introduced carbolic acid as an antiseptic he introduced lot of sterilizing techniques he concluded that sepsis and wound infection are due to microorganisms he found out that his patients were developing sepsis and wound infection and he started using carbolic acid as an antiseptic uh, solution during his surgery and he found out there is lot of post operative infections which was reduced during his period so he was called as father of antiseptic surgery edward jenner he is the first person to introduce vaccine in our history so he was called as father of immunology he introduced vaccine for smallpox and cowpox paul ehrlich he is called as a microbe hunter he lived through 1854 to 1915 father of chemotherapy so he is the first person to find out or he found the antimicrobial chemotherapy which we say it as magic bullet this is nothing but those antimicrobes targets the bacteria without affecting the host cell so he treated syphilis using arsenic which which made him so popular and he is called as father of chemotherapy because we are using even nowadays antimicrobial chemotherapy agents alexander fleming so i am sure that you all are aware of this name because he is the first person to find antibiotic which is even re recently used like penicillin he found it from the mold penicillinium notatum actually he saw his plates were grown i mean grown with molds which are killing those microorganisms and he found that mold is penicillin nowadays we call it as benzyl penicillin or penicillin g so he is first he is the person who first discovered antibiotic so these are all the people who were participated in the history of microbiology who has given lot of inventions and discoveries in the field next we will move on to scope of microbiology so why we need microbiology we need in these areas diagnostics so if you want to diagnose the organism you need to isolate and identify what organ organism it is then we need microbiology prognosis of the disease whether the disease is worsening or healing if you want to know we need the microbiology guidance in treatment microbiology plays a vital role in the guide the source of infection and sterilization techniques what we use nowadays or through microbiology 
So the scope of microbiology includes diagnosis, prognosis, guidance and treatment, source of identify the source of infection and lot of sterilization techniques. There are different branches in microbiology like medical microbiology, industrial microbiology, food microbiology, soil microbiology and plant microbiology. As a nurse, we may be focusing on medical microbiology. Why microbiology is important in nursing? If we see why the nurse has to read microbiology, you should know that as a nurse, we should know the nature and behavior of microorganism in relation to health and disease. To understand the process and steps in sterilization techniques, so whatever sterilization techniques we use in our hospitals, you should know the basic principles behind it. Know about the vaccines and other preventive measures about various diseases. So you should know what all the vaccines available and when to administer and how to administer the vaccines. Use of safe antiseptics. Use of antiseptics in not only the cleaning and also in the operation theaters, sterilization, Everything, as a nurse, we should know the safe use of antiseptics. Prevent cross and nosocomial infections. Cross infections and nosocomial infections are prevented if the nurses have a very good knowledge on microbiology. Knowledge on environmental hygiene and sanitation. As a community nurse, we should know how to keep our environmental clean and sanitation. And this should be given to the public also during public health service creating awareness regarding the safe food and water handling which may reduce lot of communicable diseases and to minimize overall mortality and morbidity rate so these are all the important areas you should understand that why as a nurse we need microbiology so we have gone through the definition of microorganism and microbiology history of microbiology, branches of microbiology, principles of microbiology and the importance of microbiology in nursing. So see you in next video. Thank you.